You guys may be wondering why I'm here looking as, as adorable as fuck. Okay, got my sweat. I'm, I'm here, I'm doing my thing. Why am I looking so adorbs today? Because I'm in here in solidarity with the one true fucking hero of America, Ken Bell. I look more like a fucking pedophile undercover. Now, a lot of you are thinking, Ethan, you look fucking adorbs right now. But why are you dressed that way? And who is Ken Bone? Let me explain. Ken Bone, during the last presidential debate, asked this question. We have one more question from Ken Bone about uh, energy policy. Ken? What steps will your energy policy take to meet our energy needs while at the same time remaining environmentally friendly and minimizing job loss for fossil power plant workers? Pretty normal, not really noteworthy question. But as a result, people just lost their mind. People just fell in love with Ken Bone. And I mean, who can blame him? He became a, a national treasure. People were talking about him on news outlets, on Reddit, on Twitter. Everyone loved Ken Bone. And it was all going great for Ken Bone, okay? Until one day, this guy does a AMA on Reddit. He called it the Bone Zone, by the way. I mean, can the guy get more fucking lovable than that? So everybody enters the Bone Zone. But here's where Mr. Bone goofed up. He didn't use a throwaway account. This is what a great guy Ken Bone actually is. He has nothing to hide. He embraced who he is. He says, look, look through my path. I'm not running for president. I'm Ken Bone. And so inevitably, everybody is sifting through everything he's ever said on Reddit. And almost overnight, Ken Bone goes from national treasure to fucking Jimmy Savelle post-death, like, pedophile. People are doing hit jobs on this sweet guy, dude. As Ken Bone enjoys his 15 minutes, social justice warriors sift through his Reddit history in an attempt to ruin his life. If you think that's an exaggeration, I assure you it's not. Listen to this excerpt here that literally had my bone blood boiling. The article said this. Ken Bone said in reply to a woman who had been raped by her partner, rather than supporting her, had called her disgusting. Okay, this is what this article wrote about this sweet fucking guy here. Let me read you what he actually said to this rape victim. He says, and I quote you, nothing that happens to you can make you disgusting. You are no less valuable for having suffered at the hands of a monster. Actions make a person disgusting. Your attacker is disgusting, as in the thought of such an awful person disgusts me. Our words can make us disgusting. Your ex is disgusting. Blaming a victim or assigning a woman value based on how used she is, is will and never be anything but disgusting. Your value has not changed due to his words or any assault you have endured. You are still valuable. End fucking quote. This man said that to a fucking rape victim on Reddit. He took the time out of his day to console a perfect stranger and say some beautiful poetry that frankly moves me when I read it. And these slimy fucks said this about him. In reply to a woman who had been raped by her partner, rather than supporting her, he had called her disgusting. And you fucking believe the world in? And, and the title, okay, the titles of these articles? Ken Bone is kind of an awful guy. The New York Post. Ken Bone's disturbing Reddit history shows he's not nearly as adorable as we thought. The fact that he didn't use a throwaway account almost makes him an even better guy. Because he's like, I have nothing to hide. I'm a real person. This is who I am. Have a fucking look. Yeah, about Jennifer Lawrence's nudes, he wrote this. Maybe Jennifer Lawrence should have been more careful with her pictures, but the bad guys are still the ones who sought them out and looked at them. And then, well, then he adds, and by the bad guys, I mean me. I saw her butthole and I liked it. I saw her butthole. I saw her butthole and I liked it. I can't blame the bone. It's Jennifer Lawrence. I mean, God, anybody who says they didn't look, I bet you fucking Michelle Obama looked at fucking, you know, Jennifer Lawrence's asshole. It's like, we're only human.
I'm sorry, Jennifer Lawrence. It sucks that happened to you. But the bone man's right. He made a wonderful point and he's like, yeah, I saw her asshole. It was dope. You know? And Michelle Obama, I guarantee you saw those pictures. Her and Obama probably had a similar conversation. They're like, Jennifer Lawrence has a fucking nice asshole. I can see the Obamas discussing that because they're also, like Ken Bone, only human. Okay, what else? What other charges can you lay against the bone? Now this one, this one's just fun. I mean, you gotta just give a standing ovation to him for just leaving this on his Reddit history during his AMA. This was a thread. What's the most illegal thing you've done and gotten away with? Felony insurance fraud. Look at this fucking amazing man. I didn't scam any money. I forged documents to make it look like I had car insurance so I wouldn't get fired from my pizza job. The guy didn't want to get fired from his fucking pizza job. During the two months it took me to pay to get my real insurance back, my fake cards and documents fooled three bosses and a cop. That's just impressive. That's, fr frankly, you, you need to get a job. Pizza is below you. You need to step up, dude. You're doing some amazing work. Made them an MSP by scanning an old card and changing the dates one pixel at a time. He's into prego porn? Oh, God forbid, dude. I mean, yeah, it's weird. But I, people can't help what they're into, okay? I'm personally into Jeff Dunham porn. I can't help it, okay? It may, it may be weird. But I can't get the image of Jeff Dunham's naked body getting sexual with his puppets. Instead of his hand, he puts his other object in it. And that's what gets me rock hard. Is it strange? Yes. Can I control it? No. Does it make me a bad person? No. You know who are the creeps? All you fucking weirdos who sifted through his Reddit history and looked at every single comment and post. You guys are the fucking peeping Toms. Okay? And by the way, Whoever said he was a great guy? He never asked for this shit. It's like you, everyone put him on a pedestal and then all of a sudden it's like, let's ruin his fucking life while we're at it. Like all he did was ask a question at a debate. He was a good guy who participated in the political process for no gain to himself. He's a good citizen. He's not there because he's a good person. He never said, I'm a good person. He's not running for president. He's not on trial. He's just a guy like all of us. So I like how people are expecting him for some reason to be like a saint or something, you know. He's a cuddly, beautiful man, but he's not a saint. He's just a man like all of us. But at the end of the day, he is a saint, actually. He is. And I take back everything. Ken Bone is a saint. Will this election cycle drain the good out of everything? Yes! And guess whose fault it is? It's the fucking media. You act like it's his fault. Bitch, it's your fault. You're the one who went out through his Reddit history and took everything out of context to make this good man look like a fucking supervillain. Will this election cycle drain the good out of everything? Yes. As long as you fucking assholes are writing stories like this, yes it will. Because we had a good man. We had a beacon of hope. And you motherfuckers ruined it. Shame on you, bitch. You did this. Fucking Daily Beast. New York Times Post, Gizmo, all you motherfuckers should be ashamed. Should all make written apologies to this fucking fine man. Because you're actually doing damage to his life. Imagine being this guy and everyone's like, oh shit, Ken Bone, didn't you like rape someone? Or like, I don't know, there's all this crazy shit going around. Because everyone just thinks he's like the worst guy ever. So I want to set the record straight. This is a great man. He's a good American. He's an honest American. Last time I recommended Humongous, and now I'm recommending VP Ken Bone. The ticket, Humongous Bone. Humongous Bone. We as Americans have to stand up for what's good and just in this world. And we can only do that this election cycle by writing in Humongous Bone for President, Vice President of this America. God bless. Let honesty and good people reign over this country. Humongous Bone for President. God bless America, and may Ken Bone be acquitted of all charges. Thank you. Look at this fucking guy, dude. You believe this guy? He's a fucking teddy bear, dude. I feel totes adored right now, and I'm only one-tenth the bone that Ken is. Wow. Great move. Keep it up.